There's a lot of excitement in the capital city over the Latino Book and Family Festival. It takes place one week from today at Sacramento City College in the Quad area, and the event will bring international award-winning authors to town to share their books and inspire the next generation of authors. Icon Dolores Huerta and astronaut Jose Hernandez will be the keynote speakers. And joining me live this morning is actor and Empowering Latino Futures co-founder Edward James Olmos. Edward, we're so excited that you're here today to talk more about this wonderful event. What are you most excited about? Bringing this event to Sacramento. I mean, they deserve it. They've been asking for it uh, for many years and we finally had the ability to do that, bring it up. <clears throat> and we've been all over the country with this festival since, uh, God, 1998. So we started it and uh, Kirk Whistler and myself and quite a few of us have been moving forward throughout the years, now 25, and bringing this. It's amazing. One thing I want to tell everybody that's listening, it's free, <laughs> totally free. And it has so much to give to you as an individual or your family and for kids and for everyone. It's really should, hopefully it'll bust loose over in Sacramento so we can make it a yearly event. Um, all I can tell you is that there are booths uh, with food, <laughs> great food. There'll be over a hundred booths to go to and, and take a look around. And, and what you find there is everything. You find um, booths and, and help with health, education, and you know, the whole literacy community comes out. Uh, it's authors will be there reading their books. Um, they will, there'll be book signing. And uh, all I can tell you is that this is a totally bilingual event. And it's something that I think that the community there in Sacramento really deserves. They've never had anything quite like this one. Absolutely. And uh, come out. It, uh, Empowering Latino Futures is the organization that we started many years ago. And all I can tell you is that uh, it's free. And when you go there, you can find out about so many things, but especially about yourself being Latino. And if you're not Latino, then you can find out about Latinos. How do you think it's going to empower children to meet all of these authors who are Latino creators that look like them, sound like them? Well, it, everyone knows that uh, we lead by example. And boy, there's nothing that a family could do more than to bring a children to a book festival where they can hear books being read by the author. And then once the book reading is done, you can go, the children can go over and meet the author and they can see how much they are uh, real and how, <laughs> and how they really uh, understand themselves to the fullest uh, just by exposure. This is the best thing you can do. I, I, I mean, I don't know what to tell you other than it's so much fun there. Uh, we have them all over the country and we've had such a wonderful turnout. Millions of people have participated in the book festivals. That is terrific. And tell me why this event is near and dear to your heart. I mean, we know you as an actor and now you're a big time literacy advocate as well. Well, I mean, through the years, uh, the most important aspect of my life has been reading. It's the, it's the way I got to who I am today. And no one in my family knew anything about what I was getting into. I didn't know anything about what I was getting into. I had to read to find out. I, I asked, I, I talked, I watched movies, uh, I saw, uh, plays, I did plays, but reading was the key. Reading is the key to, to expanding the brain to the fullest. And I, I pray that people understand that it's just fun. Reading is fun. It, ex it explodes the mind. And uh, all I can tell you is, I hope they'll come and listen to uh, uh, Dolores Huerta. You know, she's 92 years old and boy, is she a firehouse. And she'll be speaking there and so will Jose. Hernandez, who's uh, the number one Latino Chicano uh, astronaut mm -hmm. in the world. And uh, they just finished making his movie that uh, a million miles away. And uh, if you know anything about that movie or if you've seen or know anything about him, he's a wonderful person. You've got to bring your kids to see him, please. <laughs> I mean, bring the whole family. And if you don't, if you need inspiration, come to listen to Dolores Huerta and or uh, Jose, and I'll tell you right now, you'll be very glad you did. And remember, it's free. Excited about that. Edward James Olmos, thank you so much for your time this morning. We're looking forward to this amazing event happening at Sacramento City College 
next Saturday. Time is 10 to 3.30. We appreciate your time this morning. Thank you for all, all you right. do. Thank you so much. We love you, Sacramento. Thank you. We love you, too. Up next, we are talking about the auto show that's coming to the capital city. But first, how's the weather for the people heading to Cal Expo? Well, Cal Expo, <laughs> it, everything will be great today, except for the wind. Lots of sunshine, but if you can be indoors at some point, you know, uh, or kind of guard yourself from the wind, you'll be okay today. But it is a concern, obviously, where we have the strongest winds this afternoon on the west side of the valley in the coastal hills, uh, because we are concerned about the fire danger elevated today with that wind. And going into tonight, we could have some gusts 30 to 40 miles an hour, especially on the west side of the valley. And that's why we have a red flag warning up. Humidity level will drop with this kind of wind 10 to 20%. And it's obviously just much easier for fires to start in this kind of scenario and spread rapidly if one should start. So make sure you're using equipment that wouldn't start a spark. You're not parking on dry grass. And of course, you're not doing any kind of burns today in these elevated fire risk areas, especially. Looking live here in Stockton, we're gonna get some wind this afternoon, 25 mile an hour gusts possibly. We're at 40 right now, 40 in Sacramento. The wind is still light there, 42 in Modesto and in the teens at Truckee and South Lake Tahoe this morning. The hour by hour forecast in Stockton shows those winds coming up steady to 15 miles an hour. And again, that means gusts around 25 miles an hour around 2, 3, 4, 5 o'clock today expecting that. Now elsewhere, we're going to talk about the winds starting to spark up and then uh, stay elevated. And that's again the west side of the valley. Once we get to midday, we start to see those gusts to 30 miles an hour around, say, Arbuckle and Winters and into the Fairfield area. But notice Sacramento down towards Modesto and Placerville. We're at 15 to 20, 25 mile an hour gusts. But once we get towards 3, 4, 5 o'clock today, that's when Sacramento could start to see some gusts around 30 miles an hour. Not too windy in the foothills at that point. It's breezy, but look how the winds start to really ramp up here, say in Placerville by the overnight hours 10 and midnight some gusts to around 30. We still have the gusts to around 30 on the west side of the valley and in through Napa Valley. And in fact, by daybreak tomorrow around 4 to 6, 7 a.m. We could see some gusts to 40 miles an hour, say in places like Fairfield and through Napa County and through Yolo County. Real concern in those wee hours of the morning and towards daybreak tomorrow. But the winds start to back off by later in the morning and midday hours. And in fact, in Sacramento in the San Joaquin Valley in the foothills by the midday and afternoon hours tomorrow. The wind is just about gone. It'll be very light. Quincy today going to 55. It's a chilly day at Truckee in South Lake Tahoe, only in the 40s, occasionally breezy this afternoon with gusts around 20 to 25 miles an hour. Tonight we could find some winds in places like Pollock Pines and Arnold, that downsloping wind. Same thing in the foothills. It'll be breezy this afternoon, but tonight uh, those wind gusts 25 to 30 could kick in. Jackson, a high of 63. Auburn also to 64 degrees. Fairfield and through Napa County, we're going to see some gusts today into tonight and early tomorrow morning. Concord going to 71, staying sunny but breezy in San Francisco in the upper 60s. Manteca going to a high of 70. It'll be gusty and stocked in this afternoon with wind gusts around 25. And again, around Sacramento, we'll see lots of sunshine. Temperatures around 70, but that wind will be there as well. Tomorrow, not as much wind, much less wind. 74 degrees, 72 with sunshine Monday. Halloween looks great. Just a few clouds and a high of 73. And then a raindrop or two, maybe on Thursday, but it's a big maybe at this point. I wouldn't play plan on too much of the rain. Okay, well, it's staying dry for Halloween. We know that. Mm -hmm. Perfect. All right. Thank you so much, Eileen. Up next, Automania in the capital city, the big event at Cal Expo and the high tech cars you won't want to miss this weekend.
Welcome back everyone. Time now is 828. Let's take a live look over Rancho Cordova this morning. Are you in the market for a new car? Or just curious to check out some really cool high tech vehicles. Cal Expo is a place to be this weekend. All the classics and exotics you could think of are lined up and ready to be on display for the Sacramento International Auto Show. And while you check out all of these cool cars, you can also be helping out Shriners Hospital at the same time. Visitors have a chance to vote for their favorite car and that car will be displayed at the Shriners Toy Drive in December. Behind each car is a special story. He and his dad built this car. They did a tour down to Southern California in it earlier this year. Um, he comes to our toy drive every year with the Volkswagen Club. They get 120, 130 Volkswagens in a row, all bringing toys on December 3rd. Yeah, that's good stuff. The auto show continues this morning at 10 a.m. They will donate the Shriners Hospital on behalf of the fan favorite car. Which one will it be? They all look very cool. Up next, city manager under fire, the controversy in Stockton, and why one city council member is now speaking out about this situation. Where the news comes first, this is KCRA 3 Morning News. We're talking the main mishaps that can happen on Halloween and big celebration nights for Halloween like tonight and what experts are saying. Some things might shock you. Coming up. I'm Jackie DeFusco in Washington and getting answers from the Army about the suspected shooter in Maine and how they handle mental health concerns. Stockton city manager in the hot seat, the allegations made against him and why one city council member is now speaking out. 
Good morning. I'm Leticia Ordaz on this Saturday. Let's get a weather check now with meteorologist Eileen Javora. How's it looking for today? A little chilly? Yeah, very <laughs> chilly to start and very gusty to finish. We're going to see that north wind really develop as we get towards later this morning and through the midday hours and especially this afternoon around Sacramento from about 3 to 6. I think we could see some gusts here to nearly 30 miles an hour. Right now there's not much wind. I've been watching the flags on the side of the Capitol Dome here. They're not moving a whole lot. Winds are about 5 to 10 miles an hour at best. But once we get into the afternoon, again, that wind really developing and where we could see the strongest gusts as would be expected with this north wind is on the west side of the valley, especially and that's where we could have those gusts of 40 miles an hour, especially going into tonight and first thing tomorrow morning. Otherwise, the winds 10 to 20, 30 miles an hour possible throughout the valley and even the foothills. We're going to get some gustier winds going into tonight. It's a good idea this